For some, swimming is a form of exercise. For others, a competition. But for 15-year-old Hector Nieto, swimming is an escape. When I get on the pool deck, it's just like everything else is like free and I'm just there living in the moment. Hector first learned how to swim as a three-year-old in Spain. Let me tell you, I was not always good at swimming. I had to learn from ground zero. Although he struggled early on, driven by a fear of sharks and a drive to get better, Hector made great progress. After a while, I started loving the sport and I just grew a sense of competitiveness. After living in the United States for almost a decade, Hector discovered his club, Crimson Aquatics. There, with the help of his new coach, Jen Purvis, Hector learned that to be a great swimmer, you need a little bit of crazy. Swimmers are nuts in the nicest way possible. Uh, you come in, you wake up at ungodly hours to stare at a blind, to get yelled at by someone to do better. It's, it's mental. It's really mental. Somehow, amid the craziness of the pool, the swimmers at Crimson have been able to discover tranquility beneath the surface. When I'm underwater, there's a, a true sense of calmness, you know. It's like everything around you is all still. You're the only person in the world and you can do absolutely anything you want. I think this is it's a really awesome safe space. So I know a lot of people have that places. For me, I to swim and everything just disappears. Recently for Hector, swimming has gained an even more profound meaning in his life. Following his grandparents' decline in health in Spain, his parents have made the hard choice to move back at the end of the school year. I wasn't really happy when I, had to, when I heard that because I've been here for like greater part of my life. But after I found out that I'm also going to be swimming over there, it's like just having that with me is going to make this move a lot more easier. Um, and I, I hope that he can foster somebody else into his spot before he leaves us. Hector has tough shoes to fill. I get to take something that I first learned in Spain, which is how to swim, carried over to America, and then now back to Spain. Just like, at least there's something hopeful. For NNTV, this is Ben Newman, signing off.